Right then, here we are on the 29th of September. It's the West Riding Anglers annual Far View Challenge. What a lovely place to come. So off we go, we're gonna have a walk around the lake, see what's going on, see who's catching. We're struggling at the moment. But before we go, I'll give you one of Rush's top tips. We all know how expensive it is to buy lunch and meat, two quid nearly, per a sweet corn, another 50 pence. There's nothing worse than opening it. You cast in and you don't catch out. Got a full tin of sweet corn, full tin of meat. Here's Rush's top tip number one. Go to Bobble's Peg. It's got a little plastic bag like this. Nick some of his meat while he's not watching. Put that in your pocket. You can try that now. Hand cost you the penny. If you don't catch, you've not wasted a full tin. There you go. Top tip number one. Right, gents, there we have John Boy and peg number four. How's the action, John Boy? Crap. Uh, he's not he's a man of few words, is our John Boy. Can you expand on that? Have you, what, what bait have you tried? Can you talk us through it? I've tried. Uh, I'm speaking to the microphone. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I've tried different flavoured meats, sweet corn, uh, maggots, um, I've tried the uh, cage feeder with ground birds. I've tried the float with. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Sorry, mate, it's my top tip number one. Sorry, carry on. I've tried maggot on float on different steps and not a thing. Not even a tiny little roach. Well, John Boy, if you're struggling, I'm afraid it's not looking good for the rest of them. Thanks, John Boy. Thank Can you. Switch the mic off. <laughs> so, what are you having, mate? One and lost one. One and lost one. Yeah. And is this the? Uh, can you see the slack line tactics there, Bob's? No, got a straight, uh, straight line. That's the slack line tactics, which I think Frank's invented himself. Is that so you can have a sleep while you're uh, waiting for a bite? Where's your bivvy, by the way? It's at home. Oh, right. This ain't care. <laughs> oh, I've come to pick the bivvy up. <laughs> Right, well, a quick word with Michael before we go, Bob's a bit of barbell fishing. Right, Michael. Right. Just give us your top tip. If I'm going to go barbell fishing, I've got one bait to choose from, and I've got one simple method. What would you give us? A sauce boiler. Sauce boiler? Yeah. What size? 15 mil. 15 mil and sauce boiler. If you want to mess about with it, trim edges off it. Trim edges? Yeah. Just so it looks like it's been in water well. a bit. Yeah. Whatever keeps you happy. Right. And just a straight lead with. or feeder or? No, straight lead on swirl. Straight lead on swirl. Sauce boiler. PVA bag. P PVA, oh, PVA bag. PVA bag is all coming out now. And what's in PVA bag? Pellets bought by me. What sort of pellets? Them that I sell. Oh, them that you sell. Yeah. Right, okay. So they are. available. If you want to try barbell fishing, this is the lab. Right. Then. PVA bag. Pellets sold by him. Special discount for uh, West Yorkshire Angling Forum members. And piloting. Pilot in and a 15 mil sauce boiler. <laughs> Our very own Steve Ringer of the West Yorkshire Angling Forum. And uh, what are you doing now, Aidan? Are you just I'm currently over... fishing a method feeder, as we can see. Right. Here's one I prepared earlier. Sorry, mate, that's Steve speaking to the microphone. Thank you very much. Was that for me? That's the microphone. <laughs> so we've got the method feeder here, Bob. Can you see the, that? I've got the method feeder. We don't feeder. want to patronise you guys, but just show you what the uh, what his setup is. And we'll just watch how we... Are you clicked up there? I am clicked or? up, yes. It's clicked up to the reel. He's going to whack it next to these reeds, fellas. This will be good. Will it go in the reeds or will it go in the lake? Oh, very impressive. I just look for the two lines to join together. It's sunk. When you cast out there, Ed, I noticed that you sort of cast out and then you lifted your rod up. Yeah. What do you do? You lift your rod up and then you follow it back down again. Yeah, we're just to cushion the feeder down so it doesn't... So I've got Taff next to me and he's fishing the same. He's clipped up but he's lost four feeders in reeds so far. Uh, well, he's not clipping not up properly, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he's clipped up into the island, not to the island. Right, right. That's the mistake. And what have we got here, Bert? Why is them bobs? Can we see anything? We've got everything. Mainly pellets, corn, there's some dead maggots, worms, ground bait. Everything, really. And what's the idea of the dead maggots, then? Those are going down the edge later, so they don't bury into the silt. Because yeah, light maggots that, attract so small fish, right. dead maggots tend to get bigger fish on them. Very good. And you've only had four? I've only had four. Struggling today, lads, we're struggling. It could be a surprise win today, I think, if Hayden's struggling. Well. Oh. 
Fermented hemp. What else have you got to tell us, Sam? I don't else there any secrets we can pinch off you though. Uh, no. Fermented maggots. <laughs> fermented maggots. <laughs> this fermented, does this mean I can't be I can't be bothered buying any new stuff? No, it's last minute thing. Sam, I've got some news for you, mate. They're casters, they're not maggots. Oh yes. They're dead as well. <laughs> yes, well it looks yeah. like you could be today's top per uh, top favourite, Sam with all this secret bait. Yeah. <laughs> got some uh, and Fermented halibut pellets. <laughs> uh, expanders. Expanders from a couple of years ago. Do they sink down out of the floor? Uh, look, Bobble, look at this here. You've got expander pellets. They don't even sink, they Sam. Sink. What sort of. You, oh, you're picking the dry ones Sam up. Sam, there's what? no hope for you, mate. There's there no hope for you. I was, then he's uh, moved down until... We've got some bad news for you, mate. He's bagging up down there. Yeah, I've got a secret. What sort of respect is this one? That's another secret here, Bob. Who wouldn't want that? What are they? There's not what's on the boat. No, it's, just, <laughs> oh, it's in a... Yeah, it's nice, is that? What is it? Smell it. Sprinkle it on there. Thanks, if we do it, too. I can't smell it. I'm bloody deaf in me right here. Krill and white chocolate. Uh, Something like that. There's a lot of secret bears going on today. So how many you had on that? Uh, five. Five? Yeah. You kept that quiet. I didn't hear it splashing. Yeah, well, I was just cranking them in on me. <laughs> 65 pound line. <laughs> you had them all on the feeder? No, I had two on the pole and then switched to feeder and I'm getting a lot more on the feeder. So keep feeding this for later. Yeah. But uh, see how we go with it. Right, we're now up to peg number 13. The unlucky peg. Or in Danny's case, Unlucky which peg. is a bit suspect because we had peg 13 as the lucky draw peg. So whoever draws this peg gets a free day's fishing. And Danny, whose best mate is Mick the owner, drew the first peg out of the hat. And what did he get? 13. So Danny gets a free day's fishing. Yeah, but what you don't know is Danny gets a free day's fishing every time he comes up. Ah, right. <laughs> ah, well, we might be selling the free day's fishing then. So have you had a few then? One. One? One. Yes, he said you had loads. My secret bait. Has he had one Brent or more? I don't know. You do know. Come on, never mind this don't know. <laughs> Lift the net out. No, I'm not one. lifting your net out. Oh, one. it's looking promising then. Man, you, not, you won't catch out there, mate. You want to be over there in that hole? I've just dabbed them. I've just packed that feeder rod away. Oh, right. not over there. So talk us through your one fish then. How you caught it? Feeder. So there you have it, that's Danny's secret. Secret bait. Another man of few words, <laughs> feeder. That's that secret, even fish don't know about it. <laughs> Nearly at the end. Peg number 11. A Billy Bop and his barbel rod. Is it a barbel rod, that Billy? No swearing, by the way, it's a non-swearing video. Oh, is it? It's 118 <laughs> censored. So can we have your, uh, your technical advice for fishing the barbel rod on a commercial without swearing? Yeah, shite. Oh yeah, there we go. One word and he blew it. <laughs> Hard going. Well, you've had a few, haven't you? I've seen you get a few. Three. Three. Right, it's looking good. It's looking One good. more and tap it. Yeah. Well, you, you've, you've got tafts at side. It's obviously pressure's on when you've got tafts at side. You're putting, oh, uh, putting you under pressure all day. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, I lost one. You're going to keep that quiet, Laurie? Four. Four. Right, we'll bear that in mind when we come. Well, they're jumping in your swim. Look, can't you catch some of them over there? There's hundreds of them. You're just not taking bait? No. They probably can't pull that five ounce lead round, mate. That's what That's it is. That's what it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just drop it down to about two ounce, I think, for the time being. I will do, boys. So is that it? You've had them all up to? Yeah. Yeah. And what, what bait can we ask? Oh, it's another secret in the bag, or is it a no, no, no. sweet corn? No, six mil. Six pellet. mil. Six mil pellet. Banded yeah. pellet seems to be the tricky. Hey, up, Taft is in. Is he? 
Is he in here or is he yeah, he's stuck? Having, he's having his cell phone. There you go, and so we're going to have to cut to Taz, we've got some action right, going on. Yeah. Thanks for that Billy lad. You're welcome. Here comes Taz. Yeah. Look at this, what a star. Hello. How's that for a heat? Like, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right Taz, can you I tell us the best to way to play a fish without <laughs> bullying it? Like yeah, yeah, obviously. We're in a rush to get it out then, Taff, so we've got another four hours yet. You could have played that for a little bit longer, mate. A bit after you lose it first one, first yeah, cast. You yeah, he lost, he lost first one after 45 seconds, <laughs> and he just lost that one after three hours. <laughs> Only two bites he's had all day. Oh, well. Well, Taff, I've gutted. I've gutted You've got a right setup here now. You've improved a lot since we saw you last time. Have you been taking lessons or something? Yeah, you could say that, yeah. I've been yeah. taking lessons off Daddy. Is <laughs> your eyesight like not too clever either, Taps? It's, have you seen, seen my split shot thing here, Bob? Look, that, that's mine. <laughs> oh, Taps, look, he's a bit too... Uh, I think lad's having trouble with his eyes, he has to feel his way around things. Well, make sure I've enough for it, Dave, you know? Get it snapped off and all that. So what's the secret of losing them then, Taps? Is it just... Do you just sort of bully them until they come off, or...? Fucking <laughs> that way, yeah. Oh, I've cast a bit too far on that one. I think you're actually in Billy's swim there, mate. But, yeah, uh... that's why I'm not casting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get the rod this way for this one, because that's where yeah. I lost the first one. Yeah. Well, if you get another one on, just don't point it towards Bob, because if he gets whiplash off that feed when it comes off, he'll kill him. Yeah, that was It was a good fish, that as well, mate, I'm afraid to tell you. Oh, no. Well, it's well, big. How many had shot. now? Two. Two? Yeah. It weren't as big as the other one you lost? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'll get hang of this task if you stick at it. How old are you now? Six, six. Yeah, maybe another 50 years, mate. You'll get hang of this if you stick at it. <laughs> and what's that? You're getting them on these pellets? Yeah. yeah. Are they fermented or just <laughs> new? New. Let's have a quick look see what he's got. Have you told you about his floating meat? Oh, my floating meat. Oh, it's floating meat. You have got right next to Sam. I don't think Sam has got floats. Every single bait. <laughs> <laughs> I that heard long. that, pardon. So this is a little and often then taps. Yeah. And how do you cast there every single time without getting it? You, is it just sort of, do you sort of realise how far the elastic comes back? Have you got a tactic around yes. catapulting or is it from when you're a kid? Years of practice. Yeah. Catapulting at old women in the street and things like that. I touched the raw nerve there. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Taff, we'll have a quick look at your secret bait. Red maggots. Yeah, that's about it, really. That's about it. Red maggots and fermented things. What sandwiches have you got? Because Bobble's a bit hungry. Oh, I've No, he's eating sandwiches. Sorry, Bob's mate. You have to make your own sandwiches. No, I don't want to come down with a lot of skin around. <laughs> I think Skinner's still got it looking at Skate then. <laughs> right then, we'll leave you to it. Taff, do you want to say bye to the camera right, and say nice thank one, you yeah. for all for our far view match? Yeah, 2014. Thank you all. My prediction for the winner is. Just wait a minute. I don't know yet. You got to <laughs> just got to speak into that. Who's the winner? Taff's his prediction the for the bait? winner <laughs> is. Come on! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Taps, you throw microphone up, Flo. Oh, well. Taps, don't bully it, mate. You've got time. You've got another three hours. Don't. You don't have to get in it in the next five seconds. <laughs> All right. There's plenty of action here. Not yet, Taps. Give it a bit more time. Not yet. Not yet. Put the landing net down. That's it. You're supposed to set your clutch when you set up, Taps. Not every time you catch a fish. Yeah, well. <laughs> It's only a baby. Yeah. Never mind, it's only a baby. Don't lose it. Oh. It's a chub. No, it's not. Yet yeah, it is. Oh well, that's what happens when you have loads of ground bait left up. Call the count. Ground bait? Yeah. Oh, he's got bags of it here. I'll have to look to get that bloody secret. Oh, it's all down here, look. That's daddy's secret bait, what it's looking so I've had to swap. Nice chub, that taps. Yeah. The best thing to do is, as you see, when, you can, when you're putting your net onto your trousers all the time, the best thing to do is wear waterproofs <laughs> like these. 
Or you could do it Taft's way, don't bother and just get soaked at skin every time you get your net on your knee. Well, I'll try out. Look at that. Run up, run up to perfection. Taft, don't bother about that, man. Come fish net. Just throw it. Don't miss. That's well, it. what more could you ask for? Nice wet legs. Fish. Yeah. Fish to request. Thanks for that, Taft. All right. We assume that you're now backing yourself to win it. That's it. Yeah. Right, well, my money's on you, mate. Right, how much is that? Let's try off now. I think this could be the secret. Vitafit. Multivitamin, <laughs> fruit and carrot juice. You too can look like Taft's. Just drink 53 of these every day. <laughs> right, mate, well done. Right, nice one. <laughs> how many had now? Two. Two? Yeah. Fantastic, isn't it? Are you getting him out there? Are you getting him close in? One here, one out there. Got a free man. Three to be one of them. You've not been fishing my swim while I've been out videoing, have you? Is that one of yours? Where'd you get that from? It came in with a car. That might be Taft's, actually. I'll sell it back to Taft's. <laughs> yeah, it's not mine, that mate. I'll shove that in your bag and keep it quiet. <laughs> Thank you anyway. So what do you reckon? Do you reckon they're going to come on then, Phil, or do you reckon we could all struggle today? Well, I think we're all uh, being tested, I think, a little bit. Yeah. It's all in floating casters that Aidan's chucked in, I think. That's oh, there might even be Samads. Yeah, I think what, the Samads are all the way around. Samad, your casters are floating all the way around here. No, I just We've just got like a ring of scum. A scum ring of casters going out late. Throw me in that bush behind you. <laughs> Never mind fermenting. <laughs> right, Phil, have you got any top tips before we leave you to it? Just I'll tell you what we can ask you. What are you going to do between now and four o'clock to try and win the match? Well, it could be all right. <laughs> <laughs> no keep, idea. You're keeping that to yourself. No idea. So there you have no it, idea. folks. Blind Bambi. <laughs> Chop the light today, it's the old muscle.
breakfast there, and that's that sort of size you're getting. Um, that's probably about the average for the odd four or five pound, quite some big ones, but that's about the average one. Very good, mate. Keep it up. You could be, uh, you could be in the winter today. Yeah. Got to beat your dad. That's the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Two quid, they both sound good. Would you call that 274? We need the person to do scales on time. You've got one of my contact ones. I've got one. 27 and a half, is it? 27 and a half. 27 and a half. Yeah, decent calf in there. 27 and a half. Yeah, decent calf in there. Yeah, decent calf in there. Don't worry, like I've got one bigger than that. Are you sure? Positive. Are you happy with that? Yeah, bigger than that, I'll let him have it. Man's bigger than that, isn't it, Mark? Oh, biggest fish in the world. Have we got it? You've been buying these and bringing them, were you? £15, you thought it was going to be more. It goes round once and then again. What's that? 30, 45. You happy with 45? Yeah, I'm happy with 45. Do you want to wear the biggest? Do you want to wear the biggest? Which is the biggest? You'll probably that one sticking up, is it? Oh, hang on, there's a big one there, is it? Liam, boy. You've got three that or four there, but... It's that one. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd yeah. put that in your neck for a minute while I put these back. Oh, hang on, no, no, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, mate. That, that one, actually. <laughs> oh, that one I lost was twice over that. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Was, yeah. Yeah. Too big of that, yeah. But uh, it's like that. Seven and a half. What the hell? It's a good bag. We've got more than chubs. Yeah, it's a good bag. Look at that, mate. You've done it. Yeah, I've got some big chubs on. You went big as chubs. Oh, thoughts with four pound hard lines. <laughs> 34. Thank you. 
Section C was won by Russ with £34.4. Four. Cheers, mate. Well done. Second was Nat with £34, just four ounce short. Third was Samad with £19.2. Fourth was Archie with £14.12. Fifth was Alex with £10 dead. And sixth, last but not least, was Shadow with six eight. Uh, the biggest fish goes to me, I'm afraid. It's like the wife doing it to me. Yeah. Actually, I'm putting that in. That's the floats. Sorry about that. George. Get on camera. You've got to get the floats off Gaz, and I'll donate them to the next to the next thing because I've got a lot of his floats. We were very kind to make me some, so I'll donate them to his next match. Um, then we've got uh, overall winner, which is me. That's right. That's my fiver. Honest. And the nearest fifteen pound is. Samad. After work, Archie sneaked in with a fourteen twelve. Where is he? Where's he gone? There you go, mate. Well done. Sorry, Sam. I'm for building you up. And that's it, lads. Thank you very much. Another successful day. Sure, we all enjoyed it. Yeah. Well done, Dan boy, for organising it, mate. Look forward to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that's it. The last forum match of the year. A resounding success. Some good weights. Won by a very good angler. And uh, John Boy had uh, two and a half ounce. So that's uh, a new record for a commercial fishery. But all in all, a good day I think. And we all enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and all the fun and games. And uh, hope to see a few more of you next year. See you later. <laughs>